What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Of course, this is TW Motorsports and today I know it's a sad day uh, for all of my MBS crew cab guys out there. This truck is sold and um, yeah, it is going away. Now look, hey, we still have we still have an MBS, right? We still got the green one, even though we still don't have a transmission back. I'm not sure that that's ever gonna happen at this point. It's making, but I won't get off on that. Either way, um, you guys know I've been, you know, dropping hints, been posting prices and whatnot on this thing. And I had somebody uh, scoop it up. They've, I've had a deposit for a week, a little over a week now. And uh, he's coming to pick it up tomorrow morning. And uh, you're probably wondering like, well, why is the hood up and what's going on? Well, why is it up on your race ramps and whatnot? And uh, what's your, what are you gonna do now? And, and so on and so forth. So I'm, I'm gonna try to cover some of that stuff. I wanna talk about um, ultimately the, the pricing of this, these trucks right now. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll, so we'll start with the fact that I listed it for sale with or without the wheels, with or without the stereo. And uh, I pretty much didn't give this guy an option. I told him I was taking the subs and the amp out. Now I did give him the option to uh, buy it without the fat, you know, with the factory head unit in it and then me take the head unit out but he chose to you know I, you know if somebody's got one of these trucks or maybe has a radio laying around it might save them a couple hundred bucks for me to keep that and i would just use it in a in a truck down the road or car or whatever but he decided to keep that but i told him i was taking the subs and the amp out told him i would leave all the wiring so one of the reasons why the hood's up is because i'm going to pull that fuse out so we don't have any grounding issues because I, I did tell him I would leave the wiring back there so all he would have to do is hook up an amp and subs if he wanted to and it would all be there I don't want to go through pulling all that out it's uh, all put under the carpet nicely and so I don't want to mess with that the other reason is we honestly guys we're about a hundred miles away from an oil change and this guy's coming from Texas uh, I think around the Dallas area which is about seven hours for me so probably three to four hundred miles and I, you know, I don't want him to have to drive around or drive home worrying about, you know, it's 100 miles over or 200 miles over an oil change. So we're 100 miles away, maybe a little less. And so I was going to change the oil anyway. I already had it. This is just the type of person I am. I just can't let this guy drive home with old oil. You know, I know it probably wouldn't hurt anything. But um, aside from that, you know, it's been a great truck for me. I told him, I said, he asked me, you know, can I drive it home? Absolutely. I drove this thing 300 miles like just a couple days ago all in one all at one time and so i have no issues whatsoever with you know driving this thing i told him i'd hop in it and go to california tomorrow which is you know 24 hours away from me i would not have any any issue with that whatsoever it just runs great drives great and i've had several people reach out to me and try to buy it but uh this guy sent me a deposit i've been holding it and uh so tomorrow is the day but uh, guys, so the stereo, like I said, I'm taking out. I'm gonna do an oil change on it. And uh, we've came a long way on this truck. Like, I know it's a lot of you guys' favorite. And look, we're gonna replace it with something. I don't know what yet, but first off, I wanna show you guys. I don't have great pictures of when this thing, when I bought it, but I am gonna show you the pictures that I do have, which came off the listing when I bought it, which were terrible, by the way. But I'm gonna show you those here. That way you can kinda see a before and after of where we came from, what we started with, and where we're at now.
as you can see, we've we've came a really, really long way. This truck, um, I've spent a gob of money on it. I, I did a couple videos a while back where I talked about what I spent on the exterior, what I spent on the interior, and uh, I am losing money selling this truck, but it's something, guys, that I absolutely love to do. I love to buy something that needs a little bit, tinker with it, play with it, drive it, and then sell it, to be honest with you. So, you know, a lot of this stuff that you've seen around for a while that's daily drivers they're just not something i plan on keeping forever it's just not and then i get to a point where i make them too nice and i don't want to drive them very similar to what i did with the green truck here uh you just you get to a point where you're like what am i doing with all these cars if i don't want to drive them and uh, I, I just my daily drivers i try to keep it simple try to keep it clean uh, I, I want to be a little bit different than every truck you see rolling down the street but uh yeah I, it, they're going to be a constant shuffle of daily drivers on this channel. So if you guys dig that, hopefully you do. I think as long as it's GM, I've got a pretty good following of GM people and whatever I replace it with will probably be General Motors product as well. So, uh, but either way, I've got, I've got five vehicles scoped out because I, I'm in a situation now where he's picking it up tomorrow morning. We're going into the weekend. I obviously don't need a vehicle for the weekend, but the vehicles that you don't see in here, obviously the 52 is outside because I have this, um, we're gonna change the oil and do this stuff and I'm gonna take some stuff out of it. But um, I've got the trailer over here, the C10, the Trans Ams, the green truck, the 54, the 55 and the OBS. I do not have, in the 52 being outside, I do not have a daily driver. So my wife is driving the Yukon now because we sold the CTSV. My son's driving the G8 and that's it. So I, there's nothing out here that I want to drive in the rain. And uh, we're still kind of in winter here. You can, in Missouri, you can get snow in May. So I, there's a potential that I could get some snow and I don't want to put any of these in the snow. Obviously, the out of all of them, I'd probably drive the white Trans Am, but it's not going to do good in the snow. I don't want to get salt all over it. I And I've been really lucky here. When it has snowed here, I haven't had to drive this. So it's just set and not been put through salt. I mean, these trucks are prone to rust anyway. So, you know, I don't want to drive it in that kind of weather. And yeah, so it's back to the make it too nice to drive type deal. But it's it's a great truck, no rust. Uh, no issues whatsoever, but like I said, I, I don't have anything to daily drive. So I picked out four or five vehicles that I'm going to try to look at this weekend. I'm going to try to snag one. I'm not even going to talk about what they're going to be because I'm not sure that one of them is going to happen. The way things are selling right now, guys, if you're not the first one there when it lists, you're out for the most part. The, the market is just crazy. Uh, I actually sat on this truck a little longer than I thought. I got a ton of interest at first, uh, but nobody really serious. And, and I get a lot of that on this channel too. Everybody's like, well, what would you, what would you sell this for? And then when I tell them, they're like, well, you're crazy. So, <laughs> uh, but either way, wanted to kind of talk about it. I'm going to show you guys once we're all finished up taking this stuff out. I'm not going to show you the oil change or whatnot, but I got to get all my personal belongings out of it. You know, sunglasses, garage door openers and whatnot. And then uh, we'll go back around it one more time. Take a look at it. I am going to wash it for him, vacuum it out, even though it's pretty clean right now. It's just kind of dusty. Uh, but yeah, the, we'll, We'll get this stuff all finished and um, I, it's going to be a sad day, I feel like. Now that we got the oil draining, like I said, I want to pull this fuse out. Of course, it's going to be a pain. And I'm going to have to have a, looks like an Allen key to get that guy out of there. I forgot that that was that newer style. But so aside from that, once we get that pulled out, then I'm going to go ahead I already unplugged the uh, RCAs out of the amplifier. We'll get this unhooked. Like I said, I'm gonna leave it all here for him. Uh, but since the oil's draining, I figured we'd do this. And then all we have to do is just unplug the speaker wires from the box. It's not too bad. And then we'll have it out and uh, the amplifier out. I never did bolt the amplifier down because I never had any issue with it going anywhere, guys. So uh, in these trucks, I mean, this truck's not fast. And uh, so in my opinion, doesn't really need that. But let's get that stuff out. And um, I still got a, some stuff to get out of the glove box. I want to get my plates off. And I may, I may because it, it's made me crazy the whole time. I may tie this up. I may take this apart and tie this up because this has always done this since I've owned this. I, like I, I told him, I said, I was looking for a good set of door panels. I figured I'd eventually find a set. I just never did. And uh, I was just going to replace it since, you know, it's broken if it's like that. Uh, the actual panels broke, not the switch. Well, I got the fuse out. I got um, 
everything. I got the oil changed, got all my stuff out. I got, as you guys can see, the subs are no longer in here. I left the wires like I told them I would, and the amp is gone. And so at this point, I, I did do one other thing I didn't show you guys, and I probably should have. I zip tied this from the inside. So you can loop around uh, the broken piece in here. And so now this isn't like falling out like it used to. That's a that's a big difference. I think he'll uh, he'll be happy about that. I also got all the manuals for all the stuff that I have. I think I still have a few other manuals that I've got to snag up. But at this point, I'm going to go wash this thing off, get it vacuumed, and we may come back. Uh, depending on whether he wants to be on video or not, I don't know. Uh, but we may at least show it leaving the property. So it is officially gone, guys. There it goes. You can see it rolling off. And uh, oh, it's kind of sad. You know, I, I didn't ask him. He probably would have been cool with being on camera. But uh, it is heading to the Dallas area. And uh, I think he said a little bit outside of Dallas. But I think he's going to love that thing. It was a fun truck while it lasted. And uh, anyway, guys, you know that we'll have something else at some point. Uh, I'm hoping to look at a couple things this weekend. Like I said, that is my daily driver, so I really need something. But if you guys did enjoy this video, if you have liked the build on that truck, if you want to see something similar in the future, let me know in the comments down below. Of course, guys, if you are not subscribed, please go down there, hit the subscribe button, ring that bell icon that notifies you every time we drop a new video, and stay tuned to see what we come up with next.